In this installment of public service announcement, I want to talk about something that you all know is really important to me, and that is code quality and application quality. I've been concerned about this topic ever since I've been a software engineer, and in 2005, I released the first edition of my coding standards book. Even back then, I felt that quality should be easy, concise, and easy to implement into your projects. Even though I've been concerned about quality since I've been a software engineer and after working with many teams and reviewing millions of lines of code, my feeling is most teams do not make this a priority. Unfortunately, this will lead to unhappy customers and let's face it, in the end, the customers who pays your salary, right? This is why a while ago, I created a new title for myself and I call myself now a code quality czar because I end up doing this in most of the projects I work on because the teams uh, that hire me have not made this a priority in their projects. Even before I gave myself this title due to my frustration with having to deal with low quality code, I felt every team needs to have at least one person focused on quality and which includes standards using tools to help developers achieve the best code quality possible in the shortest amount of time. This person should be experienced and have many years of software development under their belt and been through you know, the software development life cycle many times. They should have been part of delivering great high quality software and also delivering the opposite <laughs> so they know firsthand what happens when you don't incorporate quality into your code. I feel that most quality work just never gets done either because the lack of experience or it's because of the schedule or it's put into the technical debt bucket. In my experience, the technical debt bucket is where quality goes to die. And in my experience, the technical debt bucket really reminds me of cancer. It's going to be painful. It's going to eat up everything until the project dies or the customer leaves for a competitor. There are many ways to learn code quality. For example, you can read blogs, including mine.nettips.com and others. You can read my books or other books, but all of my code books are wrapped around the idea of code quality and performance. You can listen to Rock in the Code World with Donnet Dave or others. You can attend the annual C Sharp Corner Code Quality Conference that this year we're hosting on June 2nd, and I hope you all will attend. You can learn on the job from another developer who's passionate about code quality. You can use published standards from Microsoft or, or My Coding Standards book, of course, or other things you find online. You can learn at conferences, but in my experience, most conferences, especially the big paid ones, have uh, either no sessions on code quality or very few. So my advice is to seek out the community run conferences because those are run by developers just like you and me, and they understand the importance of code quality and performance and these kind of skills that you'll take throughout your entire career. Just as important as learning code quality is ensuring that's part of every sprint or the beginning of every project that needs to be built in from the very beginning. Because when you try to build it in later at the end of the project or years later, it becomes very frustrating and can be very time consuming. At my current contract, I feel my boss realizes that projects that make up the solutions I work on have major quality and performance issues. So that's why when I joined the company five months ago, uh, this is all I've been working on is fixing code quality problems and fixing performance issues. Because in the end, as software engineers, you want happy customers because, like I said before, they pay the bills and this give, and it also gives you job satisfaction. Because we want customers like this and like this and like this, but we definitely don't want customers like this. So when you go to work in the morning, get with your boss and, and tell them, show them this video and say, we need to have a code quality czar or you need to hire one. Because I guarantee if you do this, your customers will be happier and you will attract more customers and you're good to keep your job. 
So that's the installment for code quality public service announcement. I hope you like this video. Make sure to show it to your boss. And don't forget to watch my show on Saturdays on csharpcorner.com.